Good morning, Zio here, and today I have no coffee cup because it is late in the afternoon and I'm getting around to, uh, to, to recording and stuff. Yeah, I failed today. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so this morning we're talking about Blizzard Diablo 2. Apparently it launched the resurrected version and the launch was uh, as to be expected. So, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, so, um, D2R uh, launched, and I was completely unaware of it. Um, actually I did like a video and then it got pushed back because of another video where we talked about it last week and I think that was the day that actually was the day of the launch so I monitored the, the launch and how it went and it went uh, abysmal <laughs> let's just say they had one reoccurring error uh, there was a bunch of issues with crashes apparently they're still having those issues as of right now and we can look at the Twitter feed here where uh, you know they they through this update saying you know we're, we're fixing things we're, we're getting things resolved yada yada and all this other stuff um, however the problem with this here is you know this is the post right here uh, where they're explaining that they're, they're doing things and stuff but uh, then they had this update here uh, that some of these things are not going to be resolved until probably Monday uh, the following day and uh, yeah so we've of course got people complaining about how they can't log into it uh, especially under the uh, the post here talking about how they took days off from work this that and the other yada 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 and uh, yeah I'm not really sure what to tell those people because if there's anything that we know over the past several years when it comes to major release online games that one they're probably going to have issues at launch they always do no matter what and two you probably shouldn't take days off anymore to do this this isn't like when halo 3 came out and you could actually go home and play the damn thing all night no this is now 2021 where a game is going to launch and it's going to take them about a week before it's stable enough for people to properly play it yeah if i was to take time off i think i would set it I don't know about a week or so after the launch and then sit down and enjoy said game uh, but that's just me you'd think we would have learned that one by now however uh, we're talking about this and this is a problem that has been ongoing since the launch uh, it's still ongoing um, the last post on this was about 21 minutes ago uh, it looks that way, and, uh, you know, it is still an ongoing issue. The problem is Blizzard could fix this for everyone real quick temporarily. Um, they just choose not to. Uh, my thoughts on that would be uh, streamers. Naturally, you've got the big streamers who are still streaming uh, Blizzard, specifically Diablo, or currently streaming said Diablo and have been throughout the weekend. And the problem here is they're getting this uh, Shorteners cat issue kind of thing like it could be alive it could not be alive all at the same time but you don't really know and instead it's with characters because if you try to log in it will sit there and tell you that your character is in another instance right it's already logged in through another thing you had a lot of people complaining about how they've been hacked and this that and the other and i'm assuming that a lot of people are using authenticators these days mine is covered in quite a bit of dust here but um you know most people use these authenticators not this specifically this is the original model everybody's authenticator essentially is being used by this right here uh, you know, on their phone or something. I would say most people, most people, not not everybody, but I'm sure a lot of people have got the two-step verification. And the authenticator is a great, great way to prevent hacking of your game. Um, you know, so the fact that people are like, ah, it's, it's hacked or whatnot, and then it's like you're using an authenticator, yeah, uh, then it's it's not hacked. It's it's the game itself, right? Uh, 
but yeah, they, they seem to be having this issue where they try to log in and then there's just this post that keeps growing where they keep listing their battle tags and stuff and it's like, please help me. Can't characters been stuck in game since early morning. Uh, there are people who have been stuck with their character in game now for over 27 hours where their character is just stuck in game. And Blizzard says their only real solution to this at this point, because, um, they're having to manually unstick these characters where, you know, you log in, it says they're already in game, but they're clearly not. So, you know, is your game character in game? Is it not? You know, that sort of thing. It's kind of one of those things that you, 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 if you log in every time you log out with your character, you're not sure if you're going to be able to log back in afterwards and considering how wow works and, or wow, I'm sorry, Diablo works and things, you know, if you're going to be doing like Countess runs or Bell runs or anything else, you know, you, you kind of need to go in, take the thing out, pop out, make a new game and keep going right in order for you to get that sweet sweet loot and progress through the game uh <laughs> so it kind of unless you're progressing very slowly through normal and stuff and you're just taking your time and you can actually stay focused and not have anyone else in the game and stuff and just progressing that way yeah you you're kind of got like a good 50 50 chance of not actually being able to get back in and that's a problem um you know, a lot of people were, of course, you know, they're blaming the streamers, saying it's the streamers' faults and this, that, and the other, and it's not the streamers' fault. Um, I can't think of the big one that I can usually think, Riker or something. I'm sure he streamed it. That is his name, right? It's the big Diablo news talk person, right? Anyway, um, I'm sure he streamed it as well as several others. And, uh, you know, as Blizzard is looking, we, we don't want to send a system message saying, hey, everybody, by the way, give us five minutes. We're shutting down everything and resetting it, which they probably should because most, um, you know, MMOs and stuff will do that with no problem whatsoever during system resets just to clear out the memory and all this other stuff just to, you know, get everything cleared out. Anybody who's, you know, just sitting there hanging around doing absolutely nothing, has been AFK for three hours and stuff like that. If they don't have an AFK, you know, automatic kick out or anything, um, you know, they, they should have been doing that already doing some rolling resets or something of the servers should still be doing that to kick everybody out and then working behind the scenes to prevent it from locking up again. Right. I think that's probably the best way they should have went about knowing that. However, again, streamers are streaming their product and they don't want them to have any issues. And, um, I haven't really looked into them because I hadn't been watching them or whatnot, but I kind of wish I had so I could see if they were having anywhere near the same problems that hundreds, thousands of other players have been having. Um, so sorry about that. I meant to actually bring up a couple of those streams up yesterday and actually just sort of put them on the other monitor here just so I can monitor them to see what they're doing over there, to see if they're having these kinds of issues, if they're getting kicked out of the client, if they're getting crashes, this, that, and the other. Because a lot of people have been, you know, experiencing crash after crash after crash, among other things. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. See ya! Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.